Hello everyone, so this video is a short tutorial on using Unreal Engine's new plugin on procedural content generation. The very first thing you need to do is to install the plugin. To do that, simply go on edit and then choose plugin. Then you can type in the search bar procedural. And then you can see the plugin and you need to install both procedural content generation framework and the geometry script interval. Then you will need to restart your Unreal Engine editor. Now you should be able to use the new plugin. To do so, simply right click in the content browser, then scroll down to PCG and then choose PCG graph. You can rename the graph however you want it. Then you can open it. And the look of the PCG graph is pretty much like a blueprint. If you click on the bottom arrow, you can see many options. What matters here is the landscape option. Then you can click and start to choose the surface sampler. And then you can connect the landscape to the surface. Now, click on the surface sampler node and on the right menu, choose the debug option. You can also toggle the debug option by pressing the D key on your keyboard. Once this is done, you can go back to the editor and then you will add a new actor in the game. You go to volumes and then scroll down until you find the PCG volume. You can see the volume on the game. Now, you need to put the graph into the PCG volume. To do so, scroll down, go on PCG, then you will see the PCG component and then once again PCG and then graph instance instance, and then you can drag the PCG graph you created into the graph option. It's very small, so what we're going to do is change the scale. So I will start with a simple and small value of 5. This is where the processor content generation will happen. Now you can simply generate, and you will see some debugging cubes. If I change the scale, you can see that we have more cubes appearing on the screen. All of them fit into the volume we created earlier. Now, we can go back to the graph node. On the right side, you can see the settings of the surface sampler. If we change the first setting, points per square meter, this will change the number of cubes we have on the volume. If you put a small value, then you have a smaller number of cubes. Now we can change the point extents, which will change the number of cubes you can see on the map as well. In here, a smaller value means you have more cubes. You also have different settings that I will not show in this video that allow you to change the look of the procedural content generation. You can change the seed or the looseness, for example. Now, what we can do is adding a new node. In this situation, I want to change the transform points. So I will look for the transform points. This node has a lot of options that you can see here. You can also see them in the settings on the right side. The transform points node allow you to change the value of the transform, such as the rotation or the scale. As you can see here, changing the rotation will randomly change the rotation of the cubes. Changing the scale will randomly change the scale as well. Now, all of this is using the debug option of the PCG plugin. However, what matters to us is using actual static meshes. In this case, you can start from the out point of the transfer points and search for the static mesh spawner. In the static mesh spawner, in the setting, you can see mesh entries, which is an array of different elements. So far we have zero element, but if we add one and choose a mesh, for example, the tree that is provided by the plugin, then you can see that your objects are not cubes anymore, but actual static meshes. Since the mesh entry setting is an array, you can have more than one static mesh and choose as many as you want. In this case, I will add a second mesh, which is also a tree from the PCG plugin. Now you can see that we have two different types of meshes that can appear in the volume. Finally, once you're satisfied, you can enter into play mode and see that the meshes are here and you can walk around them. You have two other options. You can clean up the PCG, which will just remove everything you generated. And you can generate that back by clicking on the Generate button. 
And you also have another option. You can clear PCG link, which will remove everything from the volume and create a new actor in the game that you can see by the name PCG stamp. And now you can see that if I hide the volume, nothing changes. But if I hide the stamp, then you cannot see your trees anymore.